I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to completely reduce a mixed number into a fraction. Mixed numbers are generally not reducible unless you reduce the number, the fraction within the mixed number itself. Oftentimes, the best thing you can do with a mixed number is to convert it to an improper fraction by itself, and then reduce later if possible. So, for example, if you have three and six sevenths, what you have to do first is convert it to a mixed fraction, or excuse me, an improper fraction first, and then go from there. So just a reminder, you gotta take the denominator and multiply by the whole number first, so seven times three, and then add to the numerator, which in this case is six. So seven times three is 21, add six is gonna give you 27 over seven. And then and only then can you see if you can uh, reduce here. As you can see, 27 over seven, they don't really have any factors in common, so that's actually the best thing that you can do. Now, if you wanted to look at negative two and two fifths, again, if you wanna convert that to an improper fraction and then reduce later, you can. Five times two is going to give you 10, and then add the two is gonna give you 12, so this is gonna be negative 12 over five. But again, as you can tell, the 12 and the 5 don't really have any factors in common, so you have to leave it as it is. So after converting to an improper fraction, if there are any factors that the denominator and numerator share, then you can reduce, but otherwise you have to leave it as is. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to completely reduce a mixed number into a fraction.